Today, the Model X is getting the screen rotating bracket installed, so stay tuned to see how it's done. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the post notification. Leave me comments in the section below. Like and don't forget to share this video. Now, remember I told you the Model X will be coming to my channel because my brother, he has a lot of mods coming for this car. So I will be videotaping all the mods. So all you Tesla Model X owners, please, if you're watching this video, you need to subscribe to this channel. Now, today he's gonna upgrade the bracket on the Tesla Model X to the screen rotating bracket. So basically what this bracket does, it allows the screen to rotate around, you know, in 360, I guess, whatever direction he wants it to be rotated to and not stay permanently in place. So he's gonna go ahead and install it while I videotape him to show you guys how it's okay, done. So Andrew is here right now. Andrew, say hi for the camera. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so he's going to walk you through the steps as to how to install this rotating swivel bracket. So Andrew, go ahead and start the process and tell the viewers the first step you got to do. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is make sure that you put your Tesla, you go to safety, and you power down the Tesla. Sometimes it's, it might come back on while you're working on it. That's just Tesla. That's just what they do. Sometimes it turns on. You power off the screen so you don't touch anything here. Okay. Now, I already started the process, but this piece here goes where the, the temperature sensor is underneath. Right here. Okay. This is a temperature sensor. It was attached right here from yesterday. I just went ahead and removed it. And then, and then the, the, these two, two screws was bolted onto this, right, like so. So those screws are regular um, Phillips screws or? No. These are actually um, torque screws. Yeah, these are actually torque. They actually included the tools, so I just use the tools what they have, okay. which is right here. But how you take this off? Because this was up here. You have to use the tool that they include, which this tool here. It's like a, it's a, a, pry, it's like tool. a pry tool. Mm -hmm. You stick it. See where the, this this is right here? It was up here. You just stick it in there, push it, and then you just you pull it down, and this whole piece will drop down. Okay. Right, so that's how you take this off. Okay. And the next step? The next step now, this is the temperature gauge. The temperature gauge will be attached to the back of this piece, which is what I was showing you guys earlier. There's two, you screw, there's two screws, you screw it out, and then you fully have this off. So you okay. just put this put aside, make sure you put away those, those two screws, probably like in a cup holder or something, so you don't lose it. Okay. Then the next step is now underneath, there's two bolts underneath here. Go underneath so they can see the bolt. Let me try and position the camera underneath. I have one right here, is, and both of them is 10 millimeter. There's this one right here, mm -hmm. and this one is two of them on each side. Okay. So you just have to loosen those out, take those bolts out, and then once you take those out, make sure you put them to the side because you're going to reuse those for the next bracket. Okay, so you need a socket and an extension. Yes, you need an extension, and this, this socket here is a 10 millimeter. You see what I was saying? The screen turned back on. Okay. As you can see guys, the screen turned back on. He said. So all you gotta do is just go back and just make sure that you keep turning it off so it doesn't so you don't touch anything. But this is a 10 millimeter socket you need. Okay. And you definitely need the extension because back here is so tight, so you can't really reach back there okay. without the extension. Okay, good. Should be able to take it right out. Screw forward on this. This is a screw that's actually holding the bracket mount. You're gonna reuse this, so put this back to the side. Okay, so once those two screws are out, the screen should be able to come out. But again, this thing keep turning on, so it's powered off again. You should be able to just pull straight out. Don't try to force it, if anything should be able to come right up. Okay. But make sure 
when you when you take it out you can put like a microfiber cloth here i'm using my sweater this is just a soft just to protect the screen from any damage or scratches then you just put it down lay it down face up this is the temperature gauge i was showing you guys earlier take that out put it to the side okay so next the screen is out i have the screen face down the next step is to make sure that you screw out these two hexagon screws down here that, that will release this piece here so to take it out just come over him so you can show them the screw that's it this is the screw right here and this screw and this screw and there's two screws you have to screw out so once you take these out Yeah, so once you pull that out, you gotta make sure that you take those two screws, pull it up, one, two, take them and put them to the side, and you press, I'll just, just put them right here, so, so, it's, so I don't lose them, now you have access to the back piece, okay, so now that we have access to the cable in the back of the screen, this, this white piece is a protector, for the cable to prevent you from damage or pulling on the cable itself so you first you have to remove that so all you have to do is just hold both sides you can open it up a little bit and then just pull right up and it comes right up just like so you need you need to you need to put this away too because you don't be using this okay so now this is the connector you need to be out and you need to take out on this side over here you see this piece here this piece. Yeah. right here you're gonna need to use the, the screwdriver that they give you so you can, your nails can't go in there just push that in let me try and focus the camera on a little bit in so you can see okay just make sure that you push that piece in and you just pull up once it's in it's going to stay in so once it's stay in what you gotta do just gentle gently do not force it if it's not coming out redo it again you do not want to be pulling on this cable you want to hold the purple part right here so just hold this while you squeeze this in, and you just pull up, okay, like so. See, very gentle. See how, how I keep repeating it? When I saw that it wasn't coming out, because I didn't want to force it. You force it and break this, but you're going to be calling up Elon you know, Musk for a new one. It's going to charge you like 10 grand or something like that for this one cable. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, okay. Okay, so now the next step is you want to connect the temperature gauge cup the temperature sensor cover this is for the 2021 or 2022 model y model 3 whichever one this is the latest version this is for the older version since mine is a 2022 i have to go with the ones with the hole so once you find the cover that's that matches with your car you just use this you're going to be using the screws that's included in your package it's gonna be Phillips head. These are the screws coming, probably coming out of the pouch right this either you will give you an extra one just in case if you lose it. If you lose one. So now you do like this. Connect it by hand first, both sides. And then you use the included screwdriver that they use the dead center in it is Phillips screwdriver head and you just tighten it remember no power tool hand only so this is a mounting bracket so all you gotta do is just put this in make sure that you turn this piece a little bit because it's gonna be in your way the two screws go here, one here, and one here. Goes up to there and screw right into the bracket that's connected to the vehicle. So now just make sure that you put it in. You do one side, you do one at a time. You put the side in. Make sure that you catch it. Make sure that your hand tighten this thing. Please, you don't want to use any tools. Because if you break this, you're going to run into a, a couple issues. So as you can see, guys, start to cut you off. He, um, he went ahead and angled this a certain way so he can get one screw in because if it's straight, 
the screws are not going to be able to go in. So he angle it at an angle so this side can go in. Then when he fasten here, he's going to turn this at an angle to get this side in, correct? Yes. Okay. Give it a little tug, make sure that the bracket piece is not moving. And there you go. Bracket is on. Lift it up. There you go, your service screen. Okay, guys, so this is the cover. This is included in the package. But make sure that when you put this is the piece that goes over here that covers up all of this stuff here. So, but make sure the first thing you do is you feed the cable through the, the cable and the sensor. You feed it through the bottom, so you can say so. Then you put this over it side a little bit so you can get it on there you go make sure that you don't do any damage down here okay guys be very careful so make sure that the bottom piece is lined up like so and then you just clip it right in it's a nice clean finish Okay guys, so you gotta make sure that you grab the other cover that comes in inside the package. So you just make sure you own, you feed this cable only. The sensor, the sensor gauge, you leave it hanging for now. You feed this cable through. Just make sure that you put, try to put this a little bit closer, as close as possible. Put these screws up here. Make sure you have it, you don't lose it. And take this off. Mm -mm. And feed it in before. Lock it in, lock that before. Yeah. There you go. It's much easier, you see? Mm -hmm. Then you put it back over. Just lock this in. Then you need this white piece. This is a cover to protect the cable from. And make sure you put it back in the same position how you take it off. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so once you put this on, like I said before, you take the two original screws, see how this is a little bit out? It's gonna give you a little bit of a trouble to put it in, but don't mind it. Just put it in, just tighten it, and it's gonna adjust by itself when you screw it in like so. Okay guys, now that you have the screen, put it up, did this, uh, take this back out, I'm to leave this off for a little bit, because this is what catches the left side, so you put it up, like so, now you should be able to put this cover on. right in but it's like so put that there mm -hmm. okay perfect now guys then these two screws are included into <laughs> inside the package so all you gotta do is just make sure that you go from underneath go from underneath in two holes that's underneath you line it up and tighten it first Tighten it by hand. Now you're gonna need your Allen key. Your Allen key that's included inside the package. Go from underneath, just tighten it up. When it stops, you stop. You 
don't want to keep tightening this thing and end up breaking. Nice and tight. Let's do a little test. Alright guys, so that's it. So the server screen is installed. Let me go to the back and see it. Oh guys, so the sensor. Please remember to put back the sensor back where it's supposed to go. Yep. So go ahead and put back the sensor. Guys, to get the sensor in, I finally got it in. It's kind of a little bit of pain in the butt, but I got it in. I ended up using the pry tool that they included to help me pry the plastic piece, open it up a little bit more so I could get it in. But it's in now, got it. So now that completes the installation for that swivel bracket. So we're gonna turn the car on and test it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of demonstration to show you how it works. There you go, the screen comes on. Yep, and then next, you should be able to just swivel side and side. Side. Basically, we're going to swivel side and side. Okay, so when you're driving, you can put it a little bit closer, to, like towards you a little bit more so you can see. So it's not like this where you have to come over to the right to see it a little bit. Because of the sun glare, now you can just angle it towards you mm -hmm. as needed. And also guys, we had a little a little hiccup when we had finished um, installing this, but we didn't show it on camera because the screen wasn't coming on. So we thought we might have done something wrong. So we had to take the screen back off and remove the fiber optic cable. Um, and we blew into it, I guess, because it's fiber op optic, you know, sometimes dust might get into it so it will block the signal. So if your screen doesn't come on the first time, try doing that method we did that method and it worked one more thing guys make sure the piece that you take off that comes on the car make sure you put it aside just in case if you want to put it back to oem to to how you had it just make sure you put it away somewhere safe you can put it in your house your car wherever just put it away so you have it to reuse it if you need to put it back and remove your um your silver screen the piece and the two screws all right okay thank you so much for the installation so that completes the installation of the swiveling bracket on my brother's 2022 tesla model y so if you own a tesla model y please subscribe to my channel more mod of this tesla model y behind me will be coming to the channel so stay tuned for that all my other viewers please like comment subscribe share this content okay and i will be leaving the information in the description box below where you can purchase this swiveling bracket for your car all right guys so stay tuned and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace